Joining us now to review headlines of today's newspaper from around the world is the Rise News analyst Yemi Ajayi. Greatest last white. Hi, Greatest good morning. Of the greatest of the greatest, Bagba. <laughs> Bagba. <laughs> nice to be here. Good morning, Rufai. Good, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Yeah. Now, yeah. let's start the newspaper review with this day, Nigeria newspaper of record. The lead story, Wiki Fubara signed Tinumbu's truce, leave to fight another day. Then there are some bull riders to read. All court cases instituted by Fubara to be withdrawn. Impeachment processes against governor dropped. Amehule led leadership. 26 defected members recognized. Assembly to decide where to sit henceforth. Then, above the masthead, the window story, Tinumbu vows to uphold media freedom, respect divergent views. Then the writer story there pledges to review extant policies affecting newspaper industry, acknowledges existing rules hindering local access to newsprint, says government grant granting waivers for air road rail transport system and moves to reduce price of cooking gas. Then the story beside the, on the right corner beside the picture at the top, National Assembly passed 2024 appropriation bill this week. Now from this day we move to the punch. The punch story, you have the same story here as the late National Assembly may pass budget Saturday, 541 MDAs and defense. Then top, above the masthead, Pope Francis okays blessings for same-sex couples. Then we have bottom, bottom of the paper, 800 billion illicit drugs seized, 42,105 offenders snapped marijuana. Now let's go to the nation. Well, the nation is still leading with the Fubara and Wiki story, but we we'll leave that. Let's go to the left hand corner above the masthead. INEC fixes by election into Senate, House, others for February. Then, beside President, beside the picture down, President pledges ease of doing business, newspaper businesses. From the nation, we go to The Guardian. The Guardian is living with a very different story. Nigerians may burn over 1.5 trillion on cooking gas in 2024 amid incentives. Then we go below there, Senate gives panel 48 hours to submit 2024 budget reports. Then we have the story by the right hand corner, second one, court freezes on your government's account in 10 banks. From the Guardian, we move to New Telegraph. New Telegraph, UN, the story above the mass head, UN approves Nigeria's continental shelf extension to 220 nautical miles. Then the story below the picture down, TRCN, that's Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria. 30963 teachers fail qualifying exams. So from the Guardian, from the New Telegraph, we move to Daily Trust. The Daily Trust, Trust stories is talking about the problem with out-of-school children. Not out-of-school children population time bomb. That says LG. 68,000 in Kaduna, over 500,000 in Gobe. That's the number of children that are out of school in those states. But to mobilizing resources for educational projects, says the governor, Bala Mohammed. Then over 50% of private school teachers unqualified, TRCN. Now from Daily Trust, let's go to the foreign papers now. 
For the foreign papers, we start with the Daily Telegraph. Schools told to presume children can change the agenda. That is the first step being taken by the education authorities in UK to address same-sex issues. Then we have the story. By the right-hand side, pain at petrol pumps after Red Sea attacks. Since yesterday, there have been a wave of attacks on cargo ship in the Red Sea by Hutu rebels. And this is really causing concern in the oil and gas industry. From Daily Telegraph, we move to The Guardian. The all new moon hits back at PM in Rao over PPE this scandal. This scandal over COVID is not is ready it's not, to go. It's not a bait in any time. Yeah. But, but, so, but, but, but like to say a very big thank you, you know, for all of the great work, all of the analysis this morning. I mean, it is just sad what is happening as regards cooking gas. Yeah. I just burnt 1.5 trillion. Uh, price of cooking gas has risen 165%. And we have gas, but because we have not invested in gas, Average price of one kg of LPG, 469 in 2018. 2019, 334 naira. 2023 is 1,100 naira. NMPC supplies, 350,000 tons yearly. Others make up 250,000 balance. We've got a lot of gas, but we still import gas into the country because we have not done that work. And gas is supposed to be a transition energy, you know, for climate change. Yeah. So there's a lot more we need to do I'm happy there's a presidential initiative of gas, but the question is, what's the adoption of CNG? And that's why I said, all the governors that during the palliative that they bought CNG buses, where are those What's buses today? It? Are they running on easily available CNG gas that you can get and fill in filling station? So we need to be able to talk about an energy mix and to be able to have that conversation. It is gas that will lead us, but we are not doing enough as regards the investment in gas. But All right. Well, I, I just want to say, uh, BK versus Fubara, one day, one trouble. For those who are missing Dr. Abati you know, here today, he details his analysis on the back page of the This Day newspaper on Tuesday with um, Ruben Abati. But we find interesting interesting um, topic here. The Teachers Registration Council counsels teachers' results over malpractice during qualifying exams. Teachers' malpractice. These are the teachers <laughs> who are supposed to be... Um, <laughs> checking malpractice among in students schools and in schools. And engaging in it, it is very it shameful. It tells you so much about the rot in the system. It yeah. does. It does. It's really shameful. And I hope that there will be consequences for these actions and hopefully yeah. um, even their jobs. I, I mean, it's very sad. I don't like to ask anyone to lose their jobs. So we must sanitize um, not just the education sector, but other sectors and ensure that as much as possible, let's read this nation of corruption one step at, at the time. There is not even nothing wrong if people have to lose their job because yeah. we are in this rot because we've instituted a culture of lack right. of consequence. Thank you so much. I hear we have to rot.